and welcome to Storytime with Mr Anderson. Today we're going to be reading Tom Rabbit and it's written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Barbara Firth. One summer evening, Tom Rabbit and Sammy went out to the back field to see the real rabbits. Tom Rabbit and Sammy climbed up on the wall. We can see the whole world from here, Sammy said to Tom Rabbit. I'm happy with Sammy, Tom Rabbit thought. Then Harry came by the back field with the cows, and Sammy ran off to help Harry. Tom Rabbit was left all alone on the wall. Sammy won't be gone long, thought Tom Rabbit. Mum called Sammy in for his supper, and Sammy went into the house. Oh, I hope Sammy comes back, thought Tom Rabbit. The sun set on the field, and the moon rose. I've not seen that before, thought Tom Rabbit. And then, from the bank, at the end of the lane, the wild rabbits came. First one and then two, and then three, and then four, and then more. Wild rabbits were there, everywhere, everywhere that Tom Rabbit could see. Oh, I wish Sammy was here, thought Tom Rabbit. A rabbit hopped up on the wall. It quivered its nose at Tom Rabbit. It's only a rabbit, the same as I am, thought Tom Rabbit. I'm not scared one bit. The light went on in Sammy's bedroom. Tom Rabbit saw it shine over the field. Sammy won't go to bed without me, thought Tom Rabbit. Sammy can't go to bed without me, thought Tom Rabbit. The light went out in Sammy's bedroom. Sammy's gone to bed without me, thought Tom Rabbit. I'm all alone now. And that's when... Sammy came back for Tom Rabbit. I'm sorry I left you, Tom Rabbit, said Sammy. And then he carried Tom Rabbit back home. Tom Rabbit and Sammy got into bed. Good night, Sammy, said Mum, and good night, Tom Rabbit. Good night, Mum, said Sammy. I'm happy with Sammy, Tom Rabbit thought, and he snuggled down safe in bed beside Sammy. The End Thank you for listening to today's story. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notification of new content.